Hello! In this video, we're going to talk about hair density. How to know your hair density? Is it important to know your hair density? And can you change it? This question does pop up every now and again, and I just thought I'll use myself as a guinea pig um, to show you guys how you can discover your hair density and a few tips on, um, you know, why it's important for you to know it. So let's start with the first question, which is how to know your hair density. Um, if you want to be really technical, you can count the hairs on your head, which is exactly what hair density is. It's the number of individual hairs growing out of your scalp. Um, and it, for me, it's unrealistic to be counting my hair. So um, I'm going to use a method where you basically just wash your hair loose um, and then dry it or you know use a like a towel or t-shirt to dry it and then just have a look at it if you can see a lot of your scalp through your newly washed natural hair then you probably have low density if you can see some scalp then you probably have medium and if you cannot see any scalp whatsoever then you probably have high density I will rinse my hair out and show you guys what it looks like after I've rinsed it out and it's you know Pretty much damp and almost dry um, and then we'll discover what my density is so let's talk about why you should know your hair density um, it's not extremely important but it does have some importance to it because knowing your hair density will help you decide whether you're going to use heavy products or lighter products as we already know people with um, finer and less dense hair which is beautiful um, will have to use lighter products so products that don't build up or wear their hair their hair down too much and then the people that are on the other side of the spectrum with really dense really thick hair would need to use heavier product hair density is one of those things that is actually genetic you are born with that set number of follicles on your scalp that will determine how many hairs will grow out of your scalp and although you can have more than one hair growing out of one follicle you really can't change your density the wash is done and i'm just drying my hair and i'm just going to show you throughout my head what my hair density is like i'm going to show you the right the left the back the top everything so you can see what i'm looking at um, and as you can see in this footage, I cannot see my scalp at all, which tells me that I've got high density or highly dense hair. Now, because I know my hair a little bit more um, and I've been dealing with it for many, many years. And as you saw in the earlier footage with deep conditioner in my hair, my hair is not actually extremely dense. Um, so I wouldn't say that I have got extremely dense hair. It's probably, you know, between medium and uh, dense hair probably more on the denser side because I can't see my scalp but you know once it's stretched I know that it's not super super dense um, so that's how you discover your density so if you haven't done this already go ahead and assess your own hair and see what your density is um, and I guess compare pictures before and after last year and this year to see if you're actually thinning hair or losing hair and you know this is a nice way to really see where your hair is at I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.